What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Stefan and surprise, I bought another car. It may not have been exactly what you guys were thinking. It wasn't what I was thinking initially. I've wanted one of these forever. So, please join me in giving a very warm welcome to the newest member of the family. Holy freak. <laughs> oh, dude. Pop it up. No, oh, dude. Pop it, bro. No. <laughs> dude, my bang. You were jumping your truck around too much. My bang fell out of my backpack. Oh, hydration, though. Dude, that's great. That's great. Right. So, guys, here it is the 2011 Ford Raptor. I'm so, so pumped. This is like the newest. This is the newest addition to the collection. You Do I dare say the you collection? Got five, four, five cars? Uh, four cars. Four, four cars now. That's a collection. <laughs> Three's a, two's a couple, three's a few, four's a collection. What's five? I don't know. We don't talk about five. <laughs> <laughs> I've like, I've seriously wanted one of these forever. Like, first of all, it's a Gen 1, so it has the V8 under the hood. And I was excited about that because they have the newest generation of Raptor. From what I hear, it's gonna have a V8. Granted, it's gonna be supercharged, so I don't wanna say too much, but we've got some plans for this car. So I was looking at a couple Gen 2s as well, but like with this one, like on the lot right next to it, man, it's just that color. Dude, here's what I'm thinking. I just take a whole bank all excited. Here's what I'm thinking. All right, here's what I got to do. Hear me out. Purple plaid, white wheels, underglow, supercharger. No one's doing it these days. Dude. I feel like I've seen that somewhere before. But yes, obviously, that's a good point. Like, mm -hmm. th if this looks familiar, obviously, Burlacher has one. Everybody's going to say that. Yes, me and Burlacher now have Gen 1 Raptors. But how cool is that? What's, what's better than one Raptor? Two Raptors. Five Raptors. Five Raptors. Naturally. <laughs> Yeah, so Dude, he's living man. his best oh, life. Shit. So I picked this truck up just a couple days ago. I got it from iDrive in Utah, and it's got just a ton of the stuff that I wanted anyway. It's got this like crazy chassis bracing for the rear. It's still on factory suspension, so it's got the SVT Fox shocks back there. It has SVC aftermarket. I believe those are bump stops. The other thing too, like this is the old man bar. Like it's multifunctional. Here, hold this for a second. Oh, show, them, show them how it works, Devin. Dude, I used to think these were ridiculous, and then who'd have thought my late 20s, I was thinking is the best thing ever. Right? Everybody thinks it's, it's to get up into the bed. Actually, it's for dumps on the go, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we've actually got the aftermarket bumpers here as well for that added clearance, which like we've already been, we've been wheeling around here today a whole bunch, and like the clearance is just life-changing. Same thing in the front here too. We've got the skid plate, tons and tons of clearance tow hook here in case you know the inevitable happens you're jittery aren't you Dude, bangs are <laughs> bad for you that, that can's get, so every time i look over bad that you. can's getting smaller you know, i just realized though you've been saying that you want like an orange raptor since like we were in like ninth grade ninth you've grade you always said you yeah. want an orange raptor Sounds so good. I know. <laughs> 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 you got like six, you just 
just had the rear end out. <laughs> Story. The raptor here comes with this little remote, which when opened, I don't want to say this is a perfect opportunity, but this is a perfect opportunity. I mean, listen to this. Yes. <laughs> it's just, it's just annoying that it's just annoying to everybody. But we've talked before. Life is about freedoms. Life is about choices, and we can choose to be quiet now. So I was looking at like a couple Gen 2 Raptors as well. So the biggest question in my mind at that time was Gen 1 versus Gen 2. That's probably your question too. Here's the answer. And for me, like the biggest thing was price. I wanted to be sub fifty thousand dollars, but also if I ended up getting a Gen 2 Raptor. We're looking at like even something comparable with like, th this truck has 68,000 miles on it. You get a Gen 2 Raptor with 68,000 miles on it. You're looking at like 80, $90,000. At that point, you just feel bad. Like you're beating on like an $80,000 truck. Like, gosh, I'm destroying something beautiful. But like with the Gen 1 Raptor, this is a 2011. It's It's got some miles on it. It's been properly broken in, properly loved. And best of all, it's been properly set up for like rallying the off-road. And OGs will remember, I actually had a Toyota Tacoma. A lot of you actually still comment on videos asking if I still have it. I did sell it because I wanted to invest more into the car side of the channel. That's why I got the GTR, that's why I got the Corvette, that's why I got the donk. That's, that's not why I got the donk. And that's why I decided it was time to come around, come full circle and get another truck. And what better truck than the Raptor. And not just any Raptor, but the only V8 Raptor currently available at the filming of this video. Don't mind if I do. Downshift, downshift. <laughs> it's more bald eagles, just different, just a different kind of bald eagles. So yeah, with the release of the newest V8 Ford Raptor, I felt it was only appropriate then we get the only other V8 Raptor. And speaking of new Fords, welcome to the Ford home base. So we're inside the Ford dealer here. This is the new Bronco. I'm gonna be kind of quiet because I don't want to be like that loud, annoying YouTuber guy. I was actually in here with Casey just last week when I bought that truck out there. And what was interesting is I came in here and I looked at this and I saw $48,840. And I was like, man, that truck's $45,000. So I basically found out this was in my budget. Sub $50,000, it's a six speed manual, it's got the EcoBoost in it. And you know, I was looking for a loud color, and what louder than this sick like yellow orange. Back outside, but they went and crushed my dreams. I didn't realize that they basically give every single Ford dealer one of these Broncos to just sit, like just sit on the showroom floor. Cause you know, naturally I was like, this is something I could buy, do I wanna buy it? Bronco's new, it's kind of exciting. I went and asked the salesperson, they said, uh, you can't buy it. They keep they keep those trucks in there, they keep the Ford Bronco on the showroom floor right there. They're required by Ford to keep it on the floor for I think one and a half or two years. So long story short, they snaked me, they got me all excited for nothing. <laughs> I know it's not exactly apples to apples, but come on, I mean, EcoBoost, eight cylinder, little boy, big boy. I can't help but feel like we made the right move. Did we make the right move? Come on, did we make the right move or not? So yes, we did in fact add another vehicle to my garage, my family, whatever you want to call it. And while cars and trucks are cool and all, what I can't stress enough is just surround yourself with good people. Like the YouTube journey for me up to this point has been absolutely insane. We've gone from zero to a hundred and something thousand subscribers in less than a year, more than I could have ever fathomed or dreamed of. So I genuinely want to thank each and every single one of you. Also, my brother Sky, he helped me pick out this truck. It wouldn't be possible without him. My buddy Luke, guys, go follow 
follow Luke right now. Luke is an absolute madman. He's been my best friend since high school. He's always down to come hang out. He's always down for a good time. He's always down to come help me film. So there's a link below to his Instagram. Be sure to go show him some love. And of course, how could I forget James? My homie James, this wouldn't be possible without James. I was really reluctant to start a YouTube channel initially when I first met him because I, I didn't want to be like another like, oh, me too, me too. You know, I, w I want a YouTube channel too. Because it's really easy to do that when you meet somebody like James. It's like, wow, you see like how cool their life is, all the cool cars that they're buying. And I didn't start a channel until he encouraged me to do so. So of course, mega, mega shout out to James. The guy is amazing. Thank you so much, every single one of you for watching this video. I sure hope you're just as stoked as me about the Raptor. We've got some massive, massive plans for it, including a little forced induction coming to a channel near you. Guys, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video.